Hello YouTube, here I am again, another update. Uh, I've pretty much completed my ABS uh, chamber. Um, I just gotta do the uh, the ventilation, um, which I'm waiting for the parts to come in for that. One's gonna be a vent duct coming out right up here, going into a um, four to six inch uh, coupler, and that will go into a pipe that goes down into a uh, uh, a variable speed uh, fan which is like in a like a tube and that will go into a charcoal filter and then out the window that's essentially how I'm gonna set it up um, this is just basically made with uh, corrugated plastic that you can get from Michaels I 3d printed the little the little uh, corners and other little connectors I made the top on purpose a little bit higher um, so I can slide this front section that you see here, this 10 by 20 by 20 or whatever it is, uh, front just slides over the top of the enclosure. The uh, panel just hangs out on the outside. I'm going to get an extension for that. Right now that's about as long as the cord allows for it to go, but that's fine for now. Um, I've got a uh, camera right there already in the, in the chamber. And this should probably do a pretty okay for the ABS. I'm going to see how it goes as far as temps are concerned because there's no real way to tell how long this material will sustain the temps. I suspect it should be okay. Um, 110 degrees at the bed you know, isn't really all that much in general um, for a lot of this material. Like this is just, this right here is just clear laminate. It's a laminate sheet. And that is... Uh, bonded together at over 180 degrees so i suspect that that should that should handle and shouldn't warp at all i don't think the heat's going to be enough there's a little bit of obviously there's a little bit of cracks here and there i could seal but i think once i get a ventilated section here it'll help draw it all to one direction i am going to do a test print with one abs part prior to uh the rest of the parts coming in just because i want to see how it handles the temperatures and then uh, we'll go from there. I mean, I'll know pretty well how it goes. I can watch some fluctuation from there. So, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's kind of nice that the uh, S1 has a light, which is kind of cool. So that uh, alleviates having to put any lights in there. And other than that, I think, it, I think it came out pretty cool for what it is. It's a very bare minimal size for this too. It's 20 inches wide by 30 inches tall by... I want to say that's probably, let me see if I can see where the corner is right there. I'm going to say 28 inches deep. So it's, it's about as bare minimum as you need. I've already done all the homing. All the cable travels are good. Nothing's bumping into it. Cable in the back because the corrugated, corrugated plastic will form to it. Same thing with the little cables there. It kind of forming down on top of it, which is good. So, and I'm not worried about heat rises, not, not falls, so I'm not worried about the low gap at the bottom. But I think, I, I think it came out pretty well, so. All right, let me know what you think. Uh, post your comments, uh, critiques, or whatever in the, in the box below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.